Paint Chevrolet in Springfield. Nine decades, three generations, one tradition. I got what I asked for at Paint Chevrolet. That's the honest truth. A massive fire tore through a large downtown building Thursday morning, leaving the building a total loss. The building was home to B&J Automotive and is located on the corner of South Main Street and Central Avenue in downtown Springfield, within sight of the Robertson County Courthouse. At approximately 6.30 this morning, the Springfield Fire Department received a call regarding a structure fire on South Main Street in Springfield. First crews on the scene did report heavy smoke, attempted to make entry uh, for an interior fire response, but the flames did overtake them. They called in crews to assist and resorted to a defensive attack. The fire is contained at this time. Uh, it is a, considered a total loss, and uh, we do not expect or believe have any information that suggests anyone is inside or was inside during the time of the fire. Uh, an arson investigation will be conducted by the Springfield Fire Department. We'll hopefully have more information to release on that soon. We do expect road closures and power outages to remain throughout the day. We do not have an estimated time of uh, when the roads will be reopened or when power will be restored. So we're asking people to just be patient with us at this time while our fire crews, our emergency crews respond to this and we resolve the scene. So that's all the information we have to release at this time. I'll take some questions if you have some. Uh, just the, you know, how, how hard is it for these firefighters to attack such a large fire? Well, this was a very, very large blaze, as you can tell. This is a building that was be currently being used as a car repair shop. It's an old lumber company building. Most people around here would know it as the old Carter Lumber Company building. Uh, so it's it's been taxing on our firefighters. We ask you to keep those in your prayers. We we believe everyone to be safe at this time. But uh, but this is a tough deal. But this is this is what they they do. This is they respond. This is the bravery. This is the honor and the integrity that they show when when they show up and contain a fire like this that was on a city block. Y'all's fire department, did the county called, any other cities called? Yes, yeah, so we, we did call in some help. Uh, Orlando Fire Department, Greenbrier Fire Department are helping cover medical calls and other things in the city for us, so we appreciate the response from those agencies. That's a huge help while we battle this big blaze. Do you know how the call came in? Who saw it? Called it came in through Central Dispatch. I don't know where the call originated. Do we know about anything as far as you guys uh, having to take on additional people like uh, overtime, uh, call in guys who are, who are on vacation? How big of a deal was this for you we guys? We called in, because we have two fire stations, so we called in additional resources within our fire station. I'm not sure if anyone was called in uh, that was currently off or on call, but, uh, but, but it was a large blaze and required a large response. You normally don't have anything this big. Can you remember as the assistant said, when's the last time you saw something people could see it for blocks, shut down streets? I can't remember, and I've lived here all my life. I, I, I'm sure it's happened, but I can't remember the last time we had a blaze that you could see from that far. You said you're doing an arson test. Do they believe there could be? I think it's going to be standard, uh, just standard operating procedure on a fire like this when we, we don't have information regarding a cause at this time to do an arson investigation, and that they're going to do that. The Springfield Fire Department will conduct that. So. Last thing for me, do you know how long this business has been here, this current business? I'm not sure when it when it began. It's it's been the building has been like I said two or three things in its existence so I'm not sure how long this building had been here thank you all very much we hope to have information to release later thank, thank you as I indicated the building was home to B&J Automotive they're a repair facility that has worked on some very expensive vehicles recently Smokey Bar News did a story on a 1954 300 SL Goldwing Mercedes that was brought to B&J Automotive for repair a Goldwing Mercedes in reasonable shape can run over a million dollars. Smokey Barn News did a special feature on the car at B&J Automotive several years ago. If you're viewing this report on our main website, then simply scroll down for a link to that story. The heavy plume of smoke was pushed by early morning winds blanketing the downtown Springfield area. Readers told us they could see the plume of smoke from as far away as barren plains. Rehab 83 is on scene serving water, snacks, chairs, and whatever else firefighters need as they battle the blaze. Smokey Bar News was at the scene of the fire early on this morning and broadcast the fire live from beginning to end. If you'd like to see a timeline of that, a link to that live feed will be available on our main website. As more information becomes available, we will certainly bring it to you. If you're viewing this report on our main website, then simply reload the page for updates. If you're looking for new furniture, there's no reason to drive for miles. Stuart Williams Furniture is conveniently located in the heart of Springfield on Memorial Boulevard with over 30,000 square feet of fine furnishings. We have over 90 years of experience and carry major brands like Ashley, Lazy Boy, Lane, Hillsdale, Frigidaire, and many more. Our friendly professional staff is ready to help you with all of your questions. We know the importance of finding the right price in the right wood, color, fabric, and design. We also offer finance 
financing to make your purchase a little easier on your budget. Are the kids in need of a new bed? Maybe dad needs a new recliner to unwind after a long day. Or is it time to spring for that new flat screen TV you've always wanted? We guarantee competitive prices, the best brand names with professional delivery and installation. So remember, at Stewart Williams, customer satisfaction is our top priority. So come see us today.